Hey guys, how's it going? My name is always and welcome back to Forever Stranded. In the last episode, we built this guy. Um, this is the Nano Beacon, which is giving us both night vision and saturation permanently, just with a little bit of power. Uh, working out pretty good for us. Uh, honestly, can't complain too much. We are gonna run low on power in the middle of the night, but eh, whatever. Um, so. I have been working on um, doing a little bit of prep work for a lot of different things. We are getting close to the end, uh, which is good, but also means that um, we're starting to run out of like actual episode stuff to do, uh, because a lot of this stuff is just kind of a waiting game. Uh, so first of all, I want to go see something. Let's come down here. We have brown and we have blue. Okay, perfect. Um, that's the two things we want right now. Um, but yeah, so last episode we turned in a bunch of more quests, I believe. Um, I don't remember which ones we did, but we are currently 60,000 sand into the next um, quest. Uh, then we need to get, uh, so we need 100,000 sand, so we're about 40,000 away. Uh, not too bad, that's gonna take a little bit of time, but honestly that's just a wait. And then um, sandstone is also a little bit of weight. We're gonna make the last thing we're gonna need for this guy here in a moment. I, as you can see, I already have all the upgrades. Um, just gonna be a matter of making it. Iron is done, diamonds are done, nether stars are done. Lapis is a pain, uh, and gold is going slowly. We're gonna do something to try to help the gold a little bit. Um, shouldn't be too bad, but as you can see, I have a compactor here. We're gonna go ahead and make the compactor. We're gonna set it down. And then we're going to upgrade it. So, reinforced, signalum, and then endurium. So, perfect. We can go ahead and get rid of that for now. Um, let's actually get a chest and we'll put that down there with it. So, uh, just trying to get everything kind of together. So, we'll set this guy up once we are ready for it. Um, but last time we started getting into IC2, and we made the wrong converter. Uh, kind of sad, but whatever happens. Um, by the way, we're going to want some augments for that guy. Um, we're going to want four of these auxiliary reception coils. We don't need to make any other ones, so we can just do four of these. Two, three, four. And we're going to need more gold. Of course. Um, we're currently using up pretty much all of our gold, so it's not a surprise. Um, we'll get a little bit more gold. We'll get this kind of cooked up. And then... Uh, should be good enough. Cool. So there is the four augments. And we'll go ahead and let that cook up. Grab all the gold out of that, and then uh, we'll get the rest of the stuff taken care of later. So, compactor, not not that big of a deal. Uh, we just need to grab all the gold, put the gold in here. Blocks will instantly get um, taken out of the system and put down below. Now, uh, there's a couple ways we can get gold uh, that aren't from either the ores or from uh, sifting. And one of those ways is actually armor, gold armor. We can smell up if it's fully repaired. That's the only caveat. We have four blocks in here, so we can go ahead. That just happened to work out, actually. I didn't I didn't plan for that. But yeah, so we can get gold from armor. We can also get gold from swords, and I'll show that in just a second. Oh man, my voice is seeing better days. Felt better days? Whatever. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the four blocks of gold. Um, now this isn't much. It's not going to be much. But from our zombie pigmen farm mob spawner thing, we're going to be getting mostly nuggets. Uh, which is okay, but not that great. So we're going to want to upgrade that a little bit. Uh, and we can kind of augment that. Because one of the other drops that we're going to be getting is gold swords. Now they're not going to be fully repaired. We're going to have to repair them. But... With a little bit of sand, we can get two ingots of gold every sword. So that's kind of the idea. We're going to set something up for that today as well. Um, 
So I want to keep that on us just to remember. And this guy can go ahead and be put in there. All right, so one of the big things we're going to work on today is um, IC2 stuff and try to get into UU Matter. Um, and by the way, there is a way to go ahead and repair items. We'll get to that uh, later today as well. So, um, Rotten Flesh, how? 33,000. We need to put a drawer. I also need to take my magnet off. I don't need it right now. Uh, so, hmm, we need a, okay, we do have a drawer for the Rotten Flesh. I don't know why it's not going in there, but it should. Oh, well. Um, is it called something else? Yeah, it's called something else. That's why we're not seeing it. All right, that's fine. Um... So, one of the big things, actually, is that voided? It is not. And it's full, so it's not going to make too much difference. So, let's get a void upgrade. Because I don't really need a ton of zombie flesh. Uh, zombie flesh actually makes cursed, or not cursed, um, coarse dirt. So, it's not super duper useful. But that will reduce the number of rotten flesh we have. Or it should eventually. So if I take a bunch of it out and put it back in, it's not going to replenish. So we're at like 32. Yeah, so whatever all of that is, I could honestly do it with this. And it'll be faster. And so that should be... Close enough, maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Anywho, um, we're going to work with IC2 today. So uh, one of the big things we need to do is we're going to make one of these converters. We're going to make the high energy converter. Now, this isn't necessarily the best of ideas um, because we are going to have to convert stuff down and all that kind of stuff. But it'll be okay. Um, we can use, um, well, transformers for that stuff. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so this guy is a high energy, so 512. Um, so we're going to need four of these guys. Let's get four of these. And what goes around it? Um, some Energium dust. So let's see. We're going to need more of that. And... Yeah, that should be not quite enough. We're going to need some diamonds. Ground up into diamond dust. And we're just going to go ahead and get a good bit of that. Uh, so what else are we going to need? We're going to need, for this guy, an HV transformer, which is an MV transformer, which is not too bad. But we are going to need some rubber. And that's why we have the rubber trees set an outside. We're going to need a lot of the stuff eventually, but uh, for now we don't need that much. Um, let's go ahead and get the transformer. Uh, we're going to want an MV, so we need a basic machine casing. And do that, MV transformer. And then that needs to get put into a HV, so we're going to need gold cable. So we need gold. Single piece of gold should last us for a good bit of this. And extrude it. It'll be fine. Let's go grab like a stack of coal or something. We should have, yeah, 12,000 coal. We have a lot more that we can use, so it's not that big of a deal. It ran out of power. So there's some gold cable. We need a little bit of this. We're going to need to do more stuff down there, but for right now, um, I believe we just need two of this. Now there is, um, there is uh, IC, uh, immersive engineering uh, stuff with the IC2 stuff. That's not super important, to be honest. 
Uh, so we need two of these. And then we should be able to make the Energium Dust by now. So we can get these things. And there's the last one of that. Now we just need, let's see, an electronic circuit. So we're gonna need rubber. Uh, and we're actually gonna want to come down here and place down our extractor. Uh, now we're gonna have to pick this up later, but that's fine. We'll get that going with that. Uh, we're also going to need for the HP transformer, bronze, bronze item casings. Um, so that is just a couple of bronze, just like three. Let's go ahead and tell it to make like 20 more. It's not a bad idea to kind of stock up on stuff. So we're gonna to wanna to rule this out twice. And then as soon as we have rubber, we're gonna turn it into insulated copper cables and we should be able to get the circuit. So there's the electronic circuit. And then the last thing we need is just this uh, advanced RE battery. So we're gonna need a lead. And we're gonna need to pulverize a piece of lead. Uh, should not be a problem. So we can take that stuff out. We'll use the uh, diamond dust for other things later. Um, take that out. Uh, and we should have everything else we need. So if we, except for maybe copper, let's get another stack of copper. And let's get this rolled out and then we'll get the copper extruded. So um, we're gonna need to make more transformers later uh, cause we're gonna need to run, uh, we're gonna run MFS use uh, because these have the highest capacity and all in all, they're probably going to be the best. Or do we just want an MFE? I think an MFE might actually be better. Uh, just because we're going to only ever be using tier 3 power. Um, no, let's, let's go all out. MFSU. Because, yeah, we're going to want tier 3 power, power for the mass fabricator. MFSU is a tier 4. But if we bump that down to tier 3... Uh, it'll actually be a lot better. Uh, and there, there's reasons to do that. It has to do with packets and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we'll, we'll need to make another one of these sooner rather than later. So you know what? Let's go ahead and insulate the gold cable as well. Cool. So there's the two copper that we're going to need. And now we should be able to make the RE battery to make this guy, so, no, don't use that one, use that one. So there's the battery, transformer, circuit, gold, HV transformer, and now we should have a high energy converter. Perfect, so that's step one. Now we need to make the MFSU. Uh, so it's gonna require an MFE, it's gonna require a bunch of energy crystals, so we're gonna want some more Energium. We have seven, so we're gonna want more of that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna want a lot more of that. That's six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna need 10, 10 sets of this. So that is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. Uh, Diamonds, let's just do a stack. I, it's not like we're running low on diamonds or anything. And then we're gonna, we're gonna wanna come down here and... Um, for the time being, we're gonna put this compressor right here. And it will get power. So we're at seven, we're gonna need a little few more. And obviously all these machines can't be running at the same time. It's gonna run out of power sooner rather than later. So that's a little bit of a problem. But we need three recipes worth, so we're gonna need 12 more diamonds. 
And we're going to need like two more bronze plates eventually. Uh, because like I said, we're going to need these these transformers. Uh, alternatively, we could use transformer upgrades. Um, those are definitely cheaper. But they don't work the same way, I don't believe. I'm not 100% sure about IC2 stuff because I'm not really the best at it. Uh, I've never really cared for IC2 as a mod. I hate dealing with the power source. But that's just kind of my opinion on it. It's not like it's a bad mod or anything. Not by not in the least. It's just kind of annoying for me to deal with. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead... D didn't I have a wrench? Yes. We're going to take this guy off. We're going to put the extractor there. And we're going to take... Um, bat box. And one, two, three. And do this. Alright, so it doesn't have any more of the things it needs. So let's grab this guy. And we'll go ahead and put the compactor right there. So uh, we'll, we'll get this wired up and make it kind of nice later. Uh, right now it's not super duper important, but let's go ahead and put that in there. And for right now, let's go ahead and get this taken care of. Um, so for the MFSU, we're going to need advanced stuff. Most of this stuff should just take the compressor. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so we're going to need some steel. We're going to need some steel plates. We're going to need some advanced alloy. Uh, which the advanced alloy is actually not that bad to make. See, so we need one recipe's worth of this. So we just need bronze. Oh my gosh. Bronze. Plates. That'll be pretty quick and easy. Does it have. Okay, it does have a speed. Cool. Uh, and then we can take this, turn it into the mixed metal ingots, and then we're going to need coal, powder, I think it's like this, no, it's like that, we're going to have actually a little bit extra of this, so it's, that's okay. Um, this goes through the compressor, and this gets rolled up again. So really, we're we're not doing too bad. We're gonna go grab. Uh, we have some rubber wood. Now this stuff is pretty useless by itself, um, but we can use the extractor on it and get a little bit more rubber out of it. Uh, so there's all that taken care of. Now we can go back to extruding plenty of copper. And then we will put the mixed metal ingots in. Uh, we're going to need some steel. Uh, just normal steel. Turned into plates. And let's also get like a stack of iron turned into plates just for future uh, so the MFE is just a basic machine okay nothing too bad there all right so Lapatron crystals we're gonna need a ton of these advanced circuits so let's actually just do 30 of these and then we're gonna get uh, 30 electronic circuits as soon as we can well okay 30 30 uh, recipes worth uh, 30 wires worth and let's see ooh 
Um, our temperature gauge is out of power. That is not good. Uh, let's go get that taken care of. I was not paying attention to that at all. But there we go. Uh, that is back to full. So the next night we're going to sleep. Which the day just started. So it should not be too much of a problem. Alright. Uh, let's see. What else are we going to need? We're going to need another piece of gold. Just take a few, uh, just to be safe. And we have that. You can put those back in there. All right, so first thing we need is the MFE, which is going to require a basic machine casing. Um, we're also gonna need one of these guys One of the gold guys extruded. And we're going to need more. Um, we're going to need more rubber. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Uh, in order to do this, we're going to need a uh, tree tap. And we could make an electric one, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you go through these fast enough, but they're cheap enough, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, we just need to grab all of the rubber that we can. And there's one more spot here. Uh, now these trees obviously aren't like the best or anything. Um, they're just what I grew. Uh, fun fact, the IC2 rubber trees still use the really old Minecraft code that um, makes bone meal kind of overpowered. So it's really kind of cool. Um, anything else compressed? Not right now. All right, go back to that. And get that taken care of. And now we should have the MFE. And then for the MFSU, we're going to need these Lapatron crystals, so we're going to need 6, 12, 12 advanced circuits. So there's five. Um, we're also going to need an advanced machine casing, which is actually not too difficult once we grab some of this. And there is the advanced machine casing. So we are also going to need Lapis Ground Up. So let's just take a stack of this. And we'll get that taken care of soon enough. Um, what else are we going to need for this guy? Uh, an extra advanced circuit. So we're going to need 13 in total. So we're going to need more circuits. And... That is not enough yet. So we have seven. We need um, six more. So the big the big stopping point is just rubber. So let's switch those out so it's a little bit faster. We have plenty of copper cables. Uh, so everything else should be should be fine to get the MFE, MFSU. Uh, excuse me. And then uh, we're gonna want some other things. We'll get them once we get there. So let's take a really short break from all of this stuff just so that things can process. Uh, IC2 is kind of slow and we're gonna look at this item repairer. Uh, so this thing is kind of amazing. It takes items, repairs items that are, can be repaired in an anvil and it does not require any materials, it just uses power. So what does it take? Well, we're gonna need an ender casing. We're gonna need a lot of diamonds, um, empowered diamantine. So can we make that? No. Uh, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five blocks of this. And how about in Nori? All right, iron. Let's go ahead and get a single block of that. Throw all that on the ground. Laser it. And 
For this, we are going to need clay, clay, and light blue. We need four more of these. And then clay. So we're going to need 10 clay, 5 clay. All right. Five, 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 and five. So these have about seven and a half. We'll see how low they are when they're done. Um, and then we'll put a capacitor bank. Do I have any more? No. Uh, we'll put a capacitor bank in there. So the other thing we're going to need is an induction smelter. Uh, but that should not be too much of a problem. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. So rubber. We have a good bit of rubber now. Uh, so let's go ahead. C36, that is divisible by 6. It's very rare that you ever need to have um, uninsulated cable. But let's see. We're going to need circuits. times one, two, three. That is 13. I do believe that is the correct number. We're gonna need advanced circuits. And then we're gonna need Lapatron crystals. An extra one there. And then a bunch of this stuff, the lapis dust. So. This should actually be everything we need. We get all of these, put these back down, MFE, advanced machine. There's the MFSU. Perfect. So let's get rid of that. We don't need the converter anymore. Um, no MFSU. All right, cool. So now we can start looking at a couple of things. Um, first thing we're going to want to do, though, is we're going to want to make some glass fiber cables. Now these require energium dust and silver. So let's get like a stack of silver pulverized up. And we have a little bit of energium dust. Uh, so that'll be fine. So we can get a little bit of this stuff. 18. That's actually a lot. Um, now what we're going to want to do is break these and then put this here. Um, so glass fiber cable is actually more efficient. Um, it transfers higher tiers, the wires won't burn up, and it's just all in all really good. Uh, now our bat box is filling up and that's okay for now. Um, we need to make some transformers before we can set up this whole system. Uh, and that that's okay. Uh, so transformers, we're going to need all tiers. And this does go out into here. So we're probably going to have a line of, I think we're going to have all of our basic machines over here. And then all the really good machines over here. Um, and then we might have our power generation over there. That could be okay. Uh, so, do we want to do that? Hmm. Because we're going to want multiple recyclers, and I think, honestly, doing it that way might be the best option. Uh, we could have, basically, recyclers all through here. Um, connected to, like, here is the... Or, actually, uh... Put the transformer like up here. Put the transformer there. Uh, that would be good. Okay, that's what we'll go with. Uh, so we're gonna need the mass fabricator. Uh, that's gonna need its own transformer. So we'll put the transformer there. 
and then all this other stuff doesn't need it. So we can um, honestly, and only one of these machines, no, the replicator and the scanner both require power. So we can do two here and then we can have something like this. So we'll put furnace generator here. Um, I don't actually know if this guy works with a lever or not. Um, converter. Do we need to do anything with that? I don't think so. And then an MFSU. And we will wrench that so the power is like so. And then we'll have a line that comes down. This is very ugly, I know, for those two machines. And then the mass fabricator there. Um, yeah, that should work. Okay. So, and then we'll run lines across for the rest of the stuff. So we're gonna need a little bit more diamond dust, which we have. Um, we have plenty of silver, plenty of iron plates. All right, let's get this stuff set up a little bit. Are we out of space? Uh-oh. We are. Um, but it's not, it's experience, um, that's voided, hold on, let's, there's 79,000 in there, um, Hold up, uh, priority higher? I think that's how the priorities work with this one. I don't know. Uh, anyways. Uh, I have an IO port. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a few of these, I guess. And just try to see if we can clean them off or anything, uh, what's on them. Uh, so we also have an ME chest that we can place down right here. All right, so what is filling up this thing? Um, might also be swords. We have some sticky resin in there. Um, okay, like this guy is full. Hold on, let's take you out and put this guy right here. Um, obviously we can just, uh, quartz fiber and then, uh, some glass fiber. So let's just do that. All right, so now you should have power. So what are you full on? Clay, there's 51,000 clay in here. And a ton of like sponges and, but it's mostly just clay and hardened clays and, okay. Um, I have a void upgrade, so I should be able to, theoretically, let's take all of these out. Yeah, there we go. So now it's going to dump in a ton of the clay. And it should be a lot better. So this one 
is also pretty bad. It has a ton of sulfur. Uh, okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down here. I'm going to get lost completely in my own base. I'm going to put those in there. And... I have eight more of those. ME drive. We have more drives. So let's just go ahead and get more storage. Uh, F7. Just put that in the corner. And that should help. At the very least. Let's just break all of this, because we don't really need it, and put this away. Alright, so these guys are filling up too. Alright, perfect. That's what we wanted to see. Alright, so we should be good on everything here. Um, can we make more glass fiber cable? Let's make some more Energium dust. Uh, I guess I wanted to put stuff away like that and that. So let's make like two recipes worth so we can get plenty of this stuff. And how's this stuff going out here? Uh, it's all done. How much more power? Wow, that does not use too much power. All right, so the Nori crystal requires what? Snowball, button, gray dye, and a cobblestone. There's cobblestone. Uh, just grab a piece of stone. So we can make a button. Uh, gray. All right, ink. All right, black dye. Um, bone meal, not white. Uh, I was looking for white. Is it gray or is it light gray? Uh oh. It is gray, not light gray. Okay. Uh, so we have the button, and then what was the last thing we needed? I don't remember already. Snowball. Which we have a ton of as well. Alright. Um, you know what? Let's just place these on here ourselves. I never filtered the Nori Crystal, so it's going to do its thing as well. Uh, Alright. One of these needs to turn into that, and we'll get the ender casing, and then, let's see, blocks of redstone, just do like that many, get some redstone, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so that should be the basic crystal, or the basic coil rather. And then all we need now is the Inori, which is done. Turn that into the actual individual pieces. And there is the item repair. So we'll get that set up soon enough. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep so we can get more power. Uh, maybe we'll do that more next episode. We're still trying to get a little bit more done with IC2, um, but let's see, we have, let's see, there is some rubber, we need more rubber, uh, let's see if that actually gives us power, so coal, let's grab a stack of coal, and how much power is it going to give us, so it's generating 2000 RF, and it is not going in there at all. Or is, did I make the right one before? Maybe I did. I don't remember. It's honestly been a while. So converter. So long as nothing explodes, which this shouldn't regardless.
Um, hmm. Maybe. Uh, don't break it with that. Use the wrench. Uh, let's just break this stuff. Maybe, just maybe, we need to have uh, something else going on. But, so let's move this guy. Let's move this all over here. So we're going to put the furnace generator down. Uh, maybe he doesn't transfer directly in, and I think I just lost all that coal. That's okay. Um, do you connect? You do. If I put it like that, um, do I really need another entrance here? No. Executive decision. Um, we're not going to do another entrance there. So let's grab some conduit and some coal and we'll figure out how this works. Like I said, there's not really that much information on this mod, but there's not really much to this mod. The uh, slugs con converters. Um, so I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, anyways, how are we doing on this, by the way? 61. Alright. Alright, that worked. Um, fairly well. Uh, now here is the next question. If we pick up this guy, can we put him directly onto it? No. So we need to have a little bit of space, but that works. So if we put like that much in there, this isn't, I guess it is, but so is this. So this can only accept so much, I think, but either way, doesn't really matter. So let's wrench this guy and we're gonna use cable um, we're gonna use cable like so so we're gonna have two machines here that was could have been bad um, these guys might not blow up though yeah I need to watch doing that uh, oh man I'm gonna have to like move all of this stuff over or something and that shouldn't be too much of a problem or anything but it's kind of annoying so just break all of this ooh that is mob spawning ability uh wouldn't want that all right so hmm I really don't want to pick this guy up, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, and then we're going to move him, we're going to move this guy, not that, this one, uh, like right, let's get this organized. Uh, so we put this here, we move this guy here. And then we can uh, glass fiber. Uh, we're also going to torch him. Uh, glass fiber to that. And then we can do a little bit of work. Move that out. Okay, so um, we're gonna want transformers. So that is MFSU is a uh, tier um, twenty forty eight. So we're gonna need high, medium, and low. 
Yes. All right, so that shouldn't be too bad. We've already made a medium. Uh, we can make another medium pretty easily. Uh, so there is the medium tier. Uh, I don't think we have anything. That would be tier two stuff. Uh, low tier is pretty easy as well. Make a coil. And then we should have the 10 cables, which we just need to insulate. And there is the low. So it always goes from um, five dots to one. Uh, and then I guess we'll just put this here. Put that like so. And that should be okay. Or, you know what, no. We're gonna pick this guy up and we're gonna do it like this. Put a cable here. And here. And then we'll do uh, the the higher tier here-ish. Okay. So we're gonna need the another HV transformer, uh, which is just another MV. Again, isn't too bad to do. Um, make one of those. I have that. All right, we can get rid of that. Um, we need another electronic circuit. You can put that away, I think. Uh, electronic circuit. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. And then we're gonna need this battery. So we need one more piece of lead and two more pieces of rubber. Okay, so with all of this taken care of, um, we're gonna be pretty close to being ready to do kind of the last part of this whole sequence of events, uh, which is making the actual mass fabricator and getting UU matter. Uh, that's why we're doing all of this. But it's going to take a little bit of time to get to that point. So we have this here. No. And we're going to need to go make another wrench. In fact, I think we'll, we'll end up making an electric wrench. Um, so let's see how bad the electric wrench is, it shouldn't be that bad. It requires a small power unit. So one, so there's the six of those. Um, we're gonna need a, a normal wrench. Uh, we're gonna need the electronic circuit. We're gonna need electric motor. So that's two of these. I don't know that we're gonna need any more rubber for this. We might though. Um, we have some tin item casings, that's good. Uh, RE battery. We're gonna need one more tin wire and a little bit more rubber. So not much more rubber, but just a little bit. Um, we're gonna need to light this stuff up, but we are gonna sleep just to make sure our power systems stay powered and let's grab some more torches because I don't know why I'm out anyways um, let's quickly go ahead and make okay we have the rubber we can go ahead and put that in there metal former this will take just a second and um, 
Yeah, we should be good to go on all of this. So RE battery is just one of these. There we go. And then we should be able to make the small parts. What are we missing? I think it's iron. Uh, so we take an iron plate, we'll get that changed in just a moment. Huh, so lots of things to do. Um, like I said, I, I kind of despise IC2 just because of a lot of the... A lot of the uh, difficulty comes from you really can't generate power and it's super duper slow. Um, it is a very old mod though and it is a lot of fun to be overpowered. Uh, UU Matter is kind of ridiculous to use. Uh, which is what we're trying to use but it's just a matter of getting things kind of together and whatnot so we should be able to power this up in there and then uh there should be a control for it uh i see two mode switch m And of course it's taken by other things. So what else is using M? Not sure. But uh, we don't really need to switch anything, so that should work. And please don't blow up. All right, and a way to tell if this is working is just put this like here, and it's getting power. So this is 100% working. Um, so we can actually get rid of this guy as well, uh, which gives us a little bit more room for other machines. So we can we can move these two to be like. So, not the generator, extractor. Um, we can put the mass fab right here. We can put all the other stuff we need there. It'll work perfectly. So uh, I think we're gonna step away from that for just, uh, for the rest of the episode actually. And yeah, the electric wrench is really nice to have. So let's put all of this stuff back and let's make some torches. All right, so now we just need to make the actual machines. Um, we're gonna do that next episode because this episode's kind of running low on time. Let's make a thousand sticks, why not? And there is our stack of torches. Just make sure everything's well lit. Don't want things spawning. Um, so before we go, I just want to show off kind of the idea. We'll set this up next time. I'm going to make another induction furnace. I'm going to make it probably the resonant tier. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this item repairer and we're going to get all of these swords. Um, we have 68 gold swords. And so we should be able to put these somewhere. Um... I think where I decided was in, I was going to put them in here, like over in the corner or something. Hmm. I guess we could put it right here. And I don't have any conduits on me, so let's go grab some conduits. Uh, conduit. And we're going to use import export buses for this, but um, basically, we put the sword in there, it repairs it. Free, well, relatively free of charge. Just a little bit of power, which is fine. And then what we can do is we can use export buses um, with different cards. You will, you'll see what that is later. And then import buses. Um, to, are we gonna need the import bus? Yeah, we'll get an import bus uh, and we'll get, we'll get it all set up. We'll do that next time, first thing and then go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, now that we have the power part of IC2 kind of taken care of, um, which what I think we're gonna do is 
grab like this. I don't know if the coal dust actually does anything. We can put that all in there. It's a little bit buggy. Um, but we get a ton of power going and we might need more. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then we'll just get everything kind of uh, taken care of so we can start making you matter and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.